am. I'm just trying to see if we can get it into this hyena den. As Viam said to me, um, probably would have been best to put a rope on him. Now, I'm not sure he'll make it all the way up this hill. He is remarkable. Oh, gosh, I hope Alex Falls isn't watching this. We could easily lose the rover down this hole. And my phone. <laughs> I'm not so sure about this anymore. This is scary, isn't it? Oh, we're not going to get him in there. It's too high. Look at all the bugs coming out. That's cool. And as Rebecca says, imagine a snake had just zapped it. Now, Alex, if you are watching this, I guess this is an indication that we might need to make Rover a little less tall. He's now stuck. And we need to put a torch on him. So that's interesting. We, I mean, the, the, the cell phone's definitely helping with the lighting. He is stuck now. I can't, there he, come on. Don't get stuck. Come on, boy. Out you come. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh dear, there goes my phone. He stopped moving! Come on, out you go. I think I can reach in there. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna have to go up there. I'm glad there wasn't a puff adder in there looking at its uh, looking at its babies. Oh, I can reach him. Thank goodness. Oh, I see why he's stuck. He's stuck on the roof. a fun experiment. Alex, can you see? I've put my phone on as a, uh, as a lighting device. Who says anyone can't be in the tech team, hey? I mean, it's very simple, really. And just imagine the looks that he is currently giving. There are some Franklins alarming over there. We'll just quickly go and have a look there in the last parts of the drive. That will be the end of Ronald's contribution to this drive. Well done, Ron. Good job. <laughs> that was quite fun, wasn't it, Viam? Viam even smiled, everybody. Normally only smiles if there's a leopard to see.